It's easy to get lost in the noise of the big city. Except when it's quiet. Tonight was one of those nights. I could tell. Just too quiet. And dark. I don't like it too quiet. I like dark. But maybe not this dark. I was sitting alone. Well, me and the feline at my desk. After hours, finishing up some loose ends on one hell of a deck. Slapping it up, seeing if I could play my cards right. Perhaps run my luck and try slinging it at an event up at this joint everyone's talking about. But I was still missing two key pieces. I only had a sip left of my highball and a last dose of Halo before I head home for some shut-eye, anticipating the big shindig. I'm sensing a thing. Not sure what, but it's definitely a thing. Maybe I'm just feeling slightly at ease, or maybe also on edge, like a cat teetering on the fence staring into the streetlight out there, shrouded in darkness. I'm wary and concerned. There's gossip of big happenings brewing in the noisy darkness of New Capenna. That damn streetlight. Like a beacon for trouble. Trouble only a dame clad in ultra-high clippity-clops and a dress that's barely there could bring to my door. I see trouble coming my way, and I can tell she ain't no runaway Eldrain carriage story. Hell, I just closed the shop 20 ticks ago on the chronosphere. But I do have a soft spot for them rain-soaked kitties. How bad could it be? Everybody needs a little help and a second chance now and then. I let her in. She proceeds to tell me this wild tale about angels and demons, making reference to some after-hours club called Flights. I knew the joint. She said she works there, as a promotions girl. You know the type. Show some leg, some melons, go around peddling candy, some halo shots, and other types of tipsy tips. She continued to blabber on about some big event called a pre-release and these magical cards. Said there was a different crowd there tonight. Bunch of strange new faces, real tight crew, new characters in town, some rival gangs all talking smack, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. She rattles on about a bunch of inane stuff about her night and says there's this huge ruckus. She gets knocked unconscious, don't remember nothing. Next thing she knows, she's in the back of a car with some goons. Muggsy, Ixie, Maya, Ezra. The driver was Becca. The real talkative type, you know, a solid jabber jaw, like to spill the beans on dice on what was going on. Said she knew the crew were going to save Dollface here from some bad mamma jamma spell slingers and take her to see their boss, some capo guy named Crazy Dave. She was in big trouble. She had possession of something of his. He wanted it back. Real bad. She had no idea what the goons were talking about. Why anybody would be wanting anything from her. Nothing in her purse other than her money, ID, lipstick, keys, some janky gumball machine ring, and a stupid black flower some real big fish gave her in the club. Some romantic schmooze, back before they all just kind of went poof Jamaica, up in smoke, you know. I interrupt her at this point and say, A ring and a flower, you say? My interest is piqued. Yeah, why, what's it to you, she comes at me with. It means nothing to her. She gets that crap all the time from the mopes in the club. I says to her, do you mind showing me what's in your purse? She comes back at me and says, you ain't no copper, are you? Nah, doll. I'm just an interested party in your story is all. She dumps the purse. It's quiet. Real quiet. Even the cat's quiet. She comes back at me real quick. Why are you being all weird all of a sudden? Out of all the stuff I just told you, this thing the only thing you'd be commenting on? You didn't even offer a distressed lady a hit or a drink. I says, you're right. How unfortunate of me. I pour my halo packet into my rocks glass, swish it, gulp hard. I uh, kind of lean over and I say, of all the streetlights to find in the darkness, you gotta wander into mine like a moth to a flame. I'ma do you a solid here and take the heat off you. If you give me that there flower and ring, you know, a lot of people would kill for that thing. I really do like those black patent clippity clops you got on, or even them spendy red bottom kind. Be ashamed to get them all red, blood red. She slinks back in horror. Says, wait, who are you? I reply, glint in my eye. Why, well, I'm Crazy Dave. <laughs>